channel. Today I'm going to be filming my best products of 2017. Um, I saw this video on uh, Stroach Beauty, uh, aka Sarah. She's a very good friend of mine. She did a video and very similar to this. So yeah, I wanted to do recreate it and show you guys some of the best products of 2017 that I have tried. I'm going to start with skincare. Also, I want to mention there's this rooster outside my house that's just constantly shouting. It's irritating me, but we're still going to go through this video. I'm going to have, uh, I'm not going to show you a product that in every single category. I'm just going to show you all the products that I think are totally worth your money that you should go out and buy it right now if you are into that kind of stuff. So, yeah. The first thing that I have is the Biotic Morning Nectar Visibly Flawless Skin Moisturizer. This is amazing. I repurchased this twice last year. I absolutely love it. This is the best moisturizer I have found that is affordable, that does not break me out, that does not make me sweat, it doesn't clog pores. It is so good and it smells good as well. I just really really like it. I totally recommend it for all skin types. I have a sunscreen with me that I absolutely love. I discovered this over the last, I want to say, four months of the year. Uh, this is the Kaya Sun Dispense Daily Use Sunscreen. I've actually never had a good moisturizer from Kaya that actually works. But this is a new formula and I love it. This is what I wear every single day. It's very um, lightweight. It's very thin. It's not very... Um, it's not very thick where it's really hard for me to blend into my skin. Um, the other one that I used to use, I used to use a, a Neutrogena one before and that one was so hard for me to blend into my skin. It was so thick. This one is just beautiful. This is amazing. Every time I got a breakout, every time I had like a bad skin day, this would save it all the time. This is the Blissent uh, Walnut and Tea Tree Face Scrub. I, did. I hated it the first time I used it. Um, but then I started using it again and again and I noticed such a huge difference in the way my skin felt. It's completely organic. I have a full detailed review on this on my blog. So if you would like to see that, then that's in the description. But oh my god, I love this. This can get a little bit messy and the smell isn't that pleasant. But I can get past that. Because, um, the next one that I loved, loved, loved throughout last year was from Bubble Farm. This is their detox pack. I have talked about this a million times on my Instagram. So yeah, I absolutely love this. This is just uh, it's so good. I still have so much product left. I use this literally all year. And yeah, I love this. I'm definitely going to use this tonight as well because all of this is making me want to use everything. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this. Major, major shout out to Bubble Farm for making this. If you haven't tried it out yet, please do. I bought this over the last two months of 2017. Before that, I didn't really like anything that I was having as far as a foundation or a base. I did have a BB cream. I had one foundation from Nykaa. Didn't really like them both as much as I loved this. This is the Maybelline. <laughs> this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Flawless Foundation. Absolutely love it. This is just. Amazing. I love this. This is what I, I want to wear this every single day. This is that's the feeling that I get when I look at it every single time. This is from Stay Quality. It's really dirty. Please forgive me for that. Um, but yeah, this is the beauty sponge that I use. It is cheap, it's affordable. The only thing that I hate about this is how hard it is. It's not as squishy as the one I already own. Um, I just wish it was a little bit more, you know, nice to press in because. I feel like when I'm putting this on my skin, it's just, I don't know, it's almost like putting a rock on your, it's almost like putting a rock on your skin, which I don't like, but the only reason why I love this so much is because it blends really, really well. I found the best eyeliner last year. This is the L'Oreal Super Liner Black Lacquer Waterproof Eyeliner. This is amazing. Personally, I'm not the one that likes MAC eyeliners. I have been using it recently, but then I don't really like it as much. This is super, super glossy and it just stands out. Um, it's really black, it doesn't feather, it doesn't fade. Um, the only thing I think would be the problem would be layering it on. But other than that, this is beautiful and I love it. Um, I have two mascaras. The first one is L'Oreal, no, sorry, Maybelline Last. I have this thing, but I can't say something that start, ends with an S and starts with an S, so like Lash Sensation, Lash, Lash, see I told you I have a problem, 
This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is really, really raved about. It's already very popular, but I started using this only last year. I absolutely love this. This is really, really lengthening. It's volumizing. Um, you can layer this on and on to get like a full on fake lashes look. I love this. It stays on for very long. It removes easily. This is like my go-to. This one is also from Maybelline. This is the Fall Scenes Push Up Drama. I found this over the last four months of 2017. I love this. The only thing that I hate about it is how hard it is for me to remove. This is like waterproof, waterproof. I have to use so much pressure when I'm trying to remove this. So that's the only thing I hate about it. Um, I'm definitely going to try the uh, non-waterproof one. I think I like that a lot better. But yeah, other than that, I really do love this. This is not, not a bad mascara at all. This is the Nel Fiverse lipstick. I absolutely love this. This is a matte lipstick. And it's very opaque, it doesn't exaggerate too many dry lines on my lips. So I really really like this. The next one that I have is by Maybelline. This is a very popular one as well. This is called Touch of Spice. Um, I love this. I I don't know, I just freaking love this. It's, this is the Lancome Absolute Voyage um, Travel Makeup Palette. So uh, I got this as a gift for my dad. It comes in this velvet pouch. It's this really cute like almost like a pencil case looking thing it's so so beautiful on the inside this is by OGX this is their Brazilian Kelton Therapy Shampoo I love this shampoo uh, this is just the best shampoo I have found so far I'm definitely purchasing this this is almost over it doesn't uh, dry out my hair which is what I which is the problem I have with all of my other shampoos um, and yeah, I could go without using a conditioner. I still use a conditioner, but I could go without a conditioner when I use this. So if you if you are someone who's lazy to use conditioner, you don't have that much of a dry hair situation, then this is amazing. Um, the next product that I have is by Pantene. This is their oil replacement. I have talked about this in a full video. I will link it down below. If you have unmanageable hair, then this is amazing. Uh, it makes things so much easier, you know. It just helps a lot. And it's affordable, that's what I love about it the most. This is the Hawaiian Tropic Protective Dry Oil Continuous Spray. I bought this in Dubai. I love this. Uh, I have already have like three bottles of this. I love it. It's so, so good. It, you, you basically spray it on. And then you rub it in. Oh, I can see all the... Wow, it's so magical. Um, got distracted for a moment. But yeah, it's just so nice. It makes your uh, hands really... Um, it looks almost shiny and moisturized it also moisturizes which i love um this is in the scent coconut and mango and it smells so good it feels so good and it's good to have something like this especially if you're lazy to apply sunscreen all over your body uh rose the one from body works this is this is really floral and fresh and i love it so much i'm definitely going to use this throughout 2018 as well i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it was helpful um to make your purchasing choices for the next year a little bit better. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!